The gaming industry is filled with two primary categories of games. AAA titles with their big budgets, large teams, and highly polished presentations, and indie games, which are usually passion projects from smaller teams or even individuals. Interestingly, despite the financial might of AAA studios, it's indie games that have consistently pushed creative boundaries, setting new standards for innovation, storytelling, and gameplay mechanics. But why are indie games often more innovative than their AAA counterparts? Today we're going to talk about why indie games are currently outpacing AAA titles and creativity with several examples of how indie developers are reshaping the gaming landscape. What, newbie? I said you're right, sir. You are the boss. One of the biggest advantages indie developers have over their AAA counterparts is freedom from corporate oversight. Without the need to meet shareholder expectations or align with restrictive marketing trends, indie studios are free to take risks pursue niche ideas, and develop unique game mechanics. AAA studios are typically forced to stick with what's already popular to ensure they hit the sales target, often at the cost of creativity. But for indie developers, creative freedom is a driving force. Supergiant Games' Hades is a fantastic example of this creative freedom at work. Hades brilliantly combines elements of roguelikes and action RPGs, but stands out primarily due to its narrative structure, which is intricately woven into the gameplay. Unlike traditional roguelikes, where progress resets entirely after each death, Hades integrates this cycle into the storyline. Every time Zagreus, the protagonist, dies, he returns to the underworld, greeted by familiar characters who react to his failures and victories alike. These interactions deepen the player's connection to the story, unfolding the narrative organically with every run. The rich storytelling, combined with unique gameplay, demonstrates a boldness and complexity rarely seen in AAA games which often avoids such experimentation to appeal to the widest possible audience. Hades not only became a critical and commercial success, but also changed how narrative structures could be approached in roguelikes. This ability to innovate without constraints is something indie games thrive on, and it's a flexibility that AAA studios often lack due to corporate oversight and budget expectations. In indie spaces, unique ideas are assets rather than liabilities, proving that when creativity is prioritized over commercial success, remarkable games are born. Hello, I'm Maria Kondo. My mission is to make the world to Indie games often achieve remarkable depth through minimalism, focusing on core mechanics or themes and stripping them down to their essentials. AAA games, by comparison, tend to feature an overload of mechanics and features, often compromising their narrative or emotional impact in favor of spectacle. The minimalist approach of indie games allows for a concentrated experience where every element serves the overarching purpose of the game. Celeste, for example, developed by Matt Makes Games, exemplifies how a minimalist design approach can lead to an emotionally resonant experience. On the surface, Celeste is a challenging platformer about climbing a mountain, but beneath its tight, demanding mechanics lies a deeply moving story of self-discovery and confronting inner demons. The pixel art graphics and simple controls evoke a classic aesthetic, yet the game leverages these elements to tell a meaningful narrative about anxiety, resilience, and self-acceptance. Through minimal dialogue and carefully crafted levels, Celeste delivers a powerful message that resonates deeply with players, showing how minimalist design can create an intimate connection that many AAA games struggle to achieve. Indie games like Celeste remind us that it's often the simplest stories, told with the fewest tools, that leave the biggest impact. AAA studios, by contrast, are often constrained by the need to offer a return on their significant budgets, resulting in games filled with features that can detract from the experience. In indie games, this streamlined focus allows the heart of the game to shine, making Celeste a masterclass in how minimalism can amplify emotional depth. Here we go, Raygun starting the conversation. The hallmark of indie games is their willingness to defy genre expectations and break new ground. While AAA studios tend to follow established formulas that guarantee success, like battle royales or open world formats, indie developers can experiment with unconventional gameplay and narrative approaches that challenge players' assumptions. One of the best examples of genre-defying creativity is Undertale, developed by Toby Fox. While it initially presents itself as a retro-inspired RPG, Undertale quickly subverts player expectations by allowing them to spare enemies instead of fighting them. Each choice affects the story and characters, creating a meta-narrative that encourages players to reflect on the typical RPG violence. 
Additionally, the game's fourth wall breaking elements and unexpected humor add depth, inviting players to re examine their assumptions about what an RPG can be. Papers, Please by Lucas Pope is another indie game that flips genre conventions on their head. Set in a fictional dystopian country, players take the role of an immigration officer at a border checkpoint. Instead of action packed gameplay, Papers, Please focuses on the monotonous, sometimes morally troubling work of examining passports. However, the game's minimalistic mechanics amplify its narrative impact, forcing players to confront difficult ethical choices, making it a thought-provoking experience that challenges traditional gaming concepts. By challenging genre norms, indie games like Undertale and Papers, Please create fresh, unexpected experiences. This willingness to innovate makes indie games not just refreshing, but also essential for moving the industry forward, offering perspectives that are rarely explored in AAA titles. Because I'm all out of money! Indie developers often operate under significant budget constraints, but instead of seeing this as a limitation, many use it as a tool for innovation. With fewer resources, they must focus on crafting unique gameplay mechanics or immersive worlds that don't rely on cutting-edge graphics or expansive open worlds. This necessity to innovate can lead to mechanics and features that feel fresh, focused, and rewarding. Slay the Spire, developed by Megacrit, combines deck building with roguelike mechanics to create an addictive and replayable experience. Due to its modest budget, Slay the Spire didn't include lavish cutscenes or high-end graphics. Instead, the developers dedicated their time to balancing and refining the game's core mechanics, creating a deeply strategic experience that encourages players to think critically about each decision. This budget-conscious focus on gameplay rather than flashy production values, allows players to enjoy a unique experience that feels distinctly indie. Stardew Valley, developed by Concerned Ape, is another game that has transformed its genre through creative constraints. Without a team or high-end graphics, Stardew Valley provides a rich farming simulation experience by emphasizing relationships, resource management, and exploration. The charm of its pixel art and immersive gameplay more than make up for its lack of AAA production polish. The game's continued success and cult following prove that sometimes a focused and heartfelt approach can resonate more deeply than expansive, high-budget titles. My eyes, the goggles do nothing. Perhaps the most defining trait of indie games is their ability to tell personal or unique stories that would never get approved at a major studio. Indie developers can pour their own philosophies, politics, and experiences into their games without needing to worry about a game's broad market appeal. Disco Elysium is a stunning example. This narrative-heavy RPG abandons traditional combat in favor of dialogue and introspection, tackling themes like existentialism, politics, and mental illness in a way that AAA games would likely avoid. The protagonist's fragmented psyche and philosophical dilemmas create an experience that challenges players to consider deep, often uncomfortable questions. Disco Elysium embodies the indie spirit of unfiltered storytelling, creating a narrative that resonates on a personal level. Another great example is Outer Wilds. This game revolves around a 22-minute time loop in a small solar system where players uncover secrets and piece together a mystery. The open-ended storytelling, combined with its focus on curiosity and exploration, feels uniquely organic. By putting discovery entirely in the player's hands, Outer Wilds fosters a sense of wonder that most AAA games, with their linear narratives, struggle to replicate. Indie games are surpassing AAA titles and creativity because they're unbound by corporate pressures and free to experiment. They thrive on minimalism, defy genre conventions, use budget constraints to fuel innovation, and bring personal stories to life. From Hades and Celeste to Disco Elysium and Outer Wilds, indie developers are redefining what's possible in gaming. So next time you're browsing for a new game, don't just look at the big budget titles. Check out the indie scene where real innovation is happening. Thanks for watching, everybody. I know this is a little different as I'm not in front of this camera this time, but I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know your thoughts on indie versus AAA titles down below. What's your favorite indie game? What's your triple, favorite AAA game? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed, you know, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you want notifications for when I go live, when I live stream every once in a while. I appreciate you, I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.